thousand words ain't enough to define the body of, body of, yeah. Got a look and she wants it back. She's firing up that body up. Yeah, yeah. You think that I want you, but nah, nah, babe. You're one in a million, but it's not for me. I'm not into girls with a plastic dress. Don't take it too personally. Hey there everyone, I'm Iman Shumehra and you are watching Technomania. In this tutorial on how to edit with Filmora, I will teach you guys that how to fake a drone footage with the help of Google Maps. You need to screen record any country or state with Google Map access. You can use Filmora's internal screen recorder that will screen record your PC screen. A 3D building view area will be optimal for maximum quality. Try to record the footage in a manner where it will look like it is panning. You can also use Google Earth Chrome extension. It will be best suitable for this. At first, we need to have a street footage of the area you just recorded, in my case it is Times Square Manhattan. Now I will use the footage in PIP track and apply a transition into it so that it will either move left to right or right to left. It's your choice whatever side you prefer. Now import that transitions exported footage and now another alternation needs to be done into that footage. Go to the crop and zoom and choose pan and zoom and make it to zoom out any direction you prefer. The idea behind this is so that it will make a fake look that the drone is moving either forward or either backward. Now in step 4, choose the final transition footage and now during a specific part you prefer, split the clip and change the further clip speed to your preference. Now we will also need an aerial view clip of the same area. You can get that with either recording it from somewhere high like a building, rooftop or if possible then with the help of internet. Now go to the transitions and choose the zoom out warp zoom and add it between the clip.
Now go to the crop and zoom section and just like the previous clip choose the zoom out pan. Now import the Google Maps clip and crop it so that you can hide those databases. Now select the area where you want the slideshow to happen and then adjust accordingly to make it as real as possible. Also, adjust the speed according to your preference because the Google map recorded clip smoothness speed depends on the internet connection you have. The more internet you have, the more speed it's going to be as the more data rendering can be possible. In step 5, we will do the color grading. Color grading is a process through which you can able to make a video more lively and surreal looking. I won't go into much detail but if you want me to make a video about color grading in Filmora, then please let me know in the comment section. Now in step 6, the final assembly, now you can add minor touch-ups or enhancements all according to your preference. Like I am adding a cloud so that it will make it look more real. It is your choice, the way you want it to happen or you don't want it to happen, it's all according to your preference. So guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comment section below and if you think that this video is worthwhile then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I can able to bring amazing videos like this for you. Till then, see you later.